kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us see one more problem based on the reciprocal distribution in which you need to prepare and distribute a o distribution of overhead costs on based on the simultaneous equation method now so the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question or at least pause the video and write down the question so when i'm explaining you will not get any confusions a company has production department and two service departments so it is having three production department a b and c and it is having two service departments that is service department number one and service department number two now the production department costs are as follows a department it is 3000 that is primary distribution next b department is 2000 and c department is 1000 next in service department the costs are as follows so service department number one is 234 and service department two is 300 the expenses of service departments are charged on the percentage basis which is as follows so the percentage they have given now we need to solve this by both the method that is first one is simultaneous distribution method equation method next is repeated distribution method the first one it is simultaneous equations method now under the simultaneous equation method we follow an equation what is that equation that is x is equal to a plus b of y and y is equal to a plus b of x now first let us take for department number one so it would be x is equal to so department number one will be 234 is the cost plus what is the percentage of it the percentage of it is that is 20 percent so 20 percent of y next y equals what is the y department uh, overhead cost it is 300 plus its percentage is 10 percent of x so this is equation one and this is equation number two now i will multiply both the side by 10 so multiply by 10 so what happens 10x is equal to this 234 will become 2340 plus 20% of 10 20% of 10 will be 2y next 10y equals 3000 because I am multiplying plus 10% of x will be 1x now let me rearrange the equation now i am rearranging the equation however i am i want now i'll take 10x here plus y when i shift it here here it will become minus so minus 2y equals 2340 now i'll take this 1x this side so it will become minus 1x so here it is plus plus 10y equals 3000 now i want to make this 1x into 10x so that i can cancel it so again i multiply second equation so this is our first equation and this is our second equation i will multiply the second equation by 10 so that time first equation will remain same first equation remains same now second equation minus 1x into 10 will be minus 10x plus 100y equals 3000 this will get cancelled 100 minus 2 is 98 so 98 y will be okay this will become one more zero so it will be uh, 30000 plus 2340 will be 32340 so y is equal to 32340 divided by 98 so when you divide it you will get y value that is 330 rupees now substitute this y value in our first equation so what is our first equation our first equation is x is equal to 234 plus 20 percent of y 
So y is 330. So x is equal to 234 plus 20% of 330. So 330 into 20% is 66 rupees. So x is equal to 234 plus 66 rupees. So x is equal to 300 rupees. So y is equal to 330 and x is equal to 300 rupees. Now we need to prepare a secondary over distribution summary table. So here you will take all the items. Then here total amount. Then we have to divide the service department ratio in production department. So we have A department, B department and C department. Now the primary distribution whatever they have given in the question. That one first we are supposed to write. So whatever the primary distribution they have given. That is 3000. For B department it is 2000. And for C department it is 1000. Total if you add everything it will be 6000. Now service department 1. So see here I will explain it here neatly. Now service department 1. If you add the cost excluding the what you say. Uh, service department 2 it is 20% plus 40% plus 30% so when you add all this it will be 90% so 90% of x value is what x value is 300 so 90% of 300 so 90% of 300 is 20 sorry 270 90% of 300 is 270 now this you need to divide among various department here. So A department is there, B department and C department is there. So A department is 20%, B department they have told 40% and C department they have told 30%. The ratio will be 2 is to 4 is to 3. So for A department, so 2 plus 4 plus 3 is 9. So for A department it is 270 into 2 by 9. And for B department, 270 into 4 by 9. And for C department, 270 into 3 by 9. Now, 270 into 2 divided by 9, it will be 60 rupees. And 270 into 4 divided by 9, it will be 120 rupees. Next, 270 into 3 divided by 9, it will be 90 rupees. So, 60, 120 and 90, we have to write it here. 60 120 and 90 when you add total it will be 270 this is for service department 1 next we need to do the same thing for service department number 2 service department number 2 what is the total of service number department 2 we will calculate here so service department 2 now in service department 2 we need to distribute the total uh, amount whatever is there that is we have found out here y y is how much 330 y is 330 now a department b department c department and yeah a department b department and c department a department percentage is 40 b department percentage is 20 and c department purchase is 20 total it is 80 percentage so it will be 330 into 80%. So 330 into 80% it is 264. Now this has to be divided into various department in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 2 which is equals 8. So for A department it will be 264 into 4 divided by 8. For B department it will be 264 into 2 divided by 8. And for C department it will be 264 into 2 divided by 8. Here it will be 132 rupees and here 66 rupees and 66 rupees. The same amount we need to write it here. 132, 66 and 66. Total will be 264 rupees. So this is how we need to distribute. Now we need to do the total. So when you do the totaling part, add 6000 plus 270 plus 264, it will be 6 sorry 6534 here you had 3000 plus 60 plus 132 it will be 3192 next 
2000 plus 120 plus 66 it will be 2186 next 1000 plus 90 plus 66 it will be 1156 this is how you need to solve the problem using simultaneous equations method now we have to solve this problem with one more step one more step that is repeated distribution method so now the second method we are solving that is repeated distribution method as we know in this method we keep on repeating the cost distribution so we will be repeating it so repeated distribution method this is the items then we have a department b department and c department that is production department then we have department 1 and department 2 that is service department first always we need to write the primary distribution or total which is given in the question so they have given a department is 3000 b department is 2000 c department is 1000 then first service department is 234 and second service department is 300 now first let us apportion it service department one cost service department one now i'll show the apportionment here service department one the total cost is 234 so we have a department b department c department and second service department so 234 is common in everything 234 and 234 into a is how much percentage 20 percentage b is 40 percentage c is 30 percentage and service department 2 is 10 percentage so 234 into 20 percentage it is 464 next 234 into 40 percentage will be 94 sorry sorry here 234 into 20 percentage it is 47 rupees sorry 47 rupees next 234 into 30 percentage it will be 70 rupees next 234 into 10 percentage will be 23 rupees now the same amount we need to write here 47 94 70 and here we are minusing 234 next year we need to add 23 now we need to apportionate the expenses of service department 2. Here 300 plus 23. So total we have to distribute 323. So I am subtracting from there. So now service department 2. The total is 323. So we have to divide our against A department, B department and service department 1. So same amount I need to divide between all the 4 departments. So the proportion it is A is 40%, B is 20%, C is 20% and first service department is 20%. So 323 into 40 percentage, 323 into 40 percentage will be 129. So here it will be 65, 65 and here it will be 64. The same amount I should write here, 129, 65, 65 and 64 again the cost has come for first department so that cost i need to minus and add here everywhere so again i will take here service department one so now service department one again we have got service department one it is how much rupees 64 rupees so this should be divided into a department b departments and second service department the same 64 rupees has to be divided among all departments in this percentage a is 20 percentage b is 40 percentage c is the 30 percentage and b sorry service department number 2 is 20 percent 10 percentage so now first a 64 into 20 percentage it will be 13 uh, 64 into 20 percentage it will be 13 rupees next b 64 into 40 percentage will be 26 rupees and c 64 into 30 percentage it will be 19 rupees and d 64 into 10 percentage will be 6 rupees so same thing we need to write it here 13 26 next 19 and here 
6. So now if you see again the 6 rupees has come, that 6 rupees we have to divide it among the 3 departments. So minus 6. So I can divide it equally. So 2, 2, 2 rupees if I put it will be equally divided. This is again from the service department 2. Now add, we will add, if you add everything we will get the total. So 3000 plus 47 plus 129 plus 13 plus 2. It will be 3191 rupees. Next year 2000 plus 94 plus 65 plus 26 plus 2. It will be 2187. Here, 1000 plus 70 plus 65 plus 19 plus 2, it will be 1156. In service department, there will be no cost because we have distributed among production departments. This is how we need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood how to solve the problem. If you have understood how to solve this problem, please put in the comment box that you have understood. At the same time, if you have not understood how to solve the problem, that also you can post all your doubts in the comment box. We will try to respond to your doubts as soon as possible. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because whenever I upload new videos, you will get immediate notification about all my new lectures. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, Kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.